Okay, I'm going to do a Super 8 splice using a rinky dink, actually very nice, uh, Super 8 CIR tape splicer. This is a professional Super 8 splicer. If anyone ever had a profession using Super 8, and I do. Um, so here's a splicer. Like the 16mm version, it has these little pins that um, these perforations of the film will go on. So, here's the cutting part. I'm going to cut the film here by putting the perforations on the pins and bringing this down. Now, like with the 16mm one, I'm going to push very slightly that way and cut a nice square splice cut along the frame line. Okay, now because this isn't my film, I will use, I'll put, just put it straight back together. But let's say this is another piece of film I wanted to splice to it. Um, now, what, like the 16mm uh, splicing situation, I'm, I need to have the emulsion side, if it's the emulsion side up on one half, it has to be the emulsion side up on the other half. That's giving me gyps, so what I'll do is I'll just put this little clamp on it. Right, so the emulsion side up or up. So I could also be doing it shiny side up, base side up, but it just has to be the same. Either emulsion, emulsion, or base, base. You don't want to have base and emulsion because that will be showing one film, uh, that will be having one film in upside down or reverse. Right, anyway, very simple procedure. Tape pulls over, goes all the way over, and you try and have it directly in the center of the zone between the pins so that the tape lines up with the um, frame lines of the film. Okay, rub it here. So now we have a very tight trampoline there and another one here, and this thing is going to cut it. So I'm gonna lower this down now, just Keep that clamp out of the way. Just put it down gently. This is not to be used as a lever. I'll show you what I mean by that. Here's the, here's the guillotine with its punches. So I've made nice holes through the rubber band, through the um, sticky tape. I don't want to try and lift this up via this, right? I want to lift this up separately, keeping this down, and then lift that up with your finger. I, so, so this doesn't want to get bent, right? All right. So now we've got the tape going over. Now, unlike the 16 mil splice, so this tape, this splice, is going to put more tape than just the width of the film. It has enough extra tape to wrap around the other side. So I'm going to do that. There we are. Now I've done both sides. See, it's on both sides. One thing with this, the very small perforations very small perforations. You need to make sure there's no waste material, like the little squares have punched cleanly. So what I do is I put the film, where the splice is, back on these pins, any pair of those pins, just to make sure that the tape is cleanly um, made, a, made a nice clean hole. So make sure there's no um, protruding waste. And that's it.